Optimus Prime, Sentinel Prime, Safety Prime, I'm sorry, excuse me, Kawasaki Prime? Who the hell are, oh my god, is that Saitama Prime? Who are all you people? Jokes aside, welcome everyone to the Town Commanders Collection, where Japan ran a promotion called Cybertron Satellite in shops around the country, encouraging fans to visit each town to collect a sticker of the local commander representing that district. Each town commander is a prime who each had their own bio, matrices and abilities related to the history of the town that they represent, as well as some other primes who are loosely related to these commanders. So each town commander will be loosely based on a character from a specific series with town related appearances and with each wave teasing the show that was currently running at the time of the promotion. They even featured a comic promotion around Yokohama Nemesis Prime and showcased Safety and Mark 5 Racing Prime in commercial costumes. But before I get ahead of myself, let's say hello to each of Japan's town commanders, and there are a lot of them. Let's start with Akiba Prime, who was a Cybertron idol who won the hearts of many, but be wary of her twin electric swords that allow her to manipulate electrical circuits. Fukutsu Prime, the cool spirited warrior who is known to never give up. He uses his hawk claws to swiftly defeat anyone who stands in the way of his goals. Ginza Prime, who despite his gentle demeanour, can quickly change into the ferocity of a lion out in the battlefield utilising his lightning rod to cast illusions before he attacks. Ikebukuro Prime is a walking missile launcher with his 60 Ren launcher that lights up the sky like the sun. Itami Prime is a seeker-like commander who defends the skies of Itami and the Osaka airport with his sacred sword, the Jet Sable. Kawasaki Prime, despite only recently attaining commander status, loves his music and especially jazz. He can control water with his bridge spear, allowing him to perform a variety of splashy attacks. Next is Mito Prime, who is inspired by Mito Komon, who comes from a noble lineage with the makings of a great leader, but does tend to wander. Using his gold gate axe, he is able to change the hearts of the most vile hearts to righteousness. Nagoya Prime is an ostentatious gunslinger, wielding his Shachihoko blasters he overwhelms his opponents with firepower as he walks down the winning road. Saitama Prime, who showcases his colourful love for peace with his rainbow sword that can purify the soul of any being. Sapporo Prime has a burning heart of passion to defend the northern regions of Japan with his freezing blizzard fang claws. Sendai Prime is a veteran of many battles with the light of justice said to glisten from his one eye. He proves his strength with the Zunda Sword that immobilizes enemies with the power of the forest. Then is Tachikawa Prime, who is also a valiant defender of the skies in his helicopter mode and uses the power of the River Sword as an active source of water for use in emergencies. Numida Prime is a good old comedian with the fierce strength of a tiger. His tiger claws can slash through enemies in the blink of an eye However, he seems to be having bad luck with the Colonel Sander curse. Yokohama Prime is a protector of his city's beautiful lights by being a Kung Fu master who can quickly disarm his foes with the Cruiser Soyuto, which is said can cleave the sea in half. We now move on to Hakata Prime, who is a take on Kurodo Nagamasa and using his samurai style to protect Hakata from anyone who dares to invade his land. Hiroshima Prime is fittingly based on Trailbreaker, who adorns oyster-like armour to repel against any attack. Ishinomaki Prime is a passionate representative of manga, with colours adorning Ishinomori's Cyborg 009, and flies around in jet form displaying this passion. Yurokucho Prime is an old Prime who carries a clock cannon on his back, and a Yurokucho arch and lantern within his sword. Nunba Prime wields a deep fried sword and takoyaki armor representative of Osaka's cuisine. Sapporo Chu Prime, with the famous clock tower on one shoulder and the beer museum on the other, he is a steadfast warrior under the tutelage of Sapporo Prime. Next is Takasaki Prime, who is swift like Sideswipe 
and adorns Darumadol armour to show respect to the town he protects. Now the last three do not reside to a specific region but are still town commanders in their own right, with Mark 5 Racing Prime who transforms into Team Mark's Nissan GTR car, he appeared in person to welcome fans to the team and once helped battle against Yokohama Nemesis Prime, and often mistaken for Mark 5 is Safety Prime alongside his partner I, who oversees the Super GT sport events and commercials and is very strict upon all races adhering to the rules, where we once went toe to toe against Megatron, and even Unicron at one point, but that's a video for another day. And finally, we have Dimicron Prime, who does not represent a region, but rather Takara themselves, with influences of Transformers, Diaclone, and Microman shown in his appearance. As the protector of Japanese children, Dai Micron awakens from his slumber when Japan is in crisis and claims that a portion of his spark resides in all Transformers. So there is one more town commander but in order to do that we need to go to a comic regarding the 2014 Transformers Expo called Yokohama Decepticon Secret Base. So during the Beast Wars Naviko, the Predacon's ship AI is given a body with a dolphin beast mode and is tasked with a mission to recruit a Nemesis Prime from the past, which was actually all a part of Tarantulas' big scheme, but we'll get to that shortly. In 2014, we witnessed Dr. Arkaville about to create Nemesis Prime using Dark Energon stickers and a Decepticon cookie to turn the clone evil. Yes, you heard that right. Stickers and cookies, just roll with it. Before the transformation is complete, Yokohama Prime bursts in with an Autobot cookie in the hope of thwarting Dr. Arkaville's plan. However, Naviko is teleported in and uses her own cookie to awaken Nemesis Yokohama Prime. Having escaped the lab, he is pursued by Yokohama, Kawasaki and Mark V Racing Prime, but are each swiftly defeated with Nemesis claiming himself as the new protector of Yokohama. Heading to the expo nearby, Nemesis sees many powerful artifacts and claims that with these he can dominate over anyone. However, Bayverse, Bumblebee and Optimus knock him down. However, another Nemesis Prime and Nemesis Grimlock offer their aid to Nemesis Yokohama and battle against the Autobots and Saitama Prime. Apparently, this is the same Nemesis from Shadows Rising, which is really cool. However, as the battle ensues, the many artifacts throughout the expo begin to react to Nemesis's Dark Energon, which would cause a devastating explosion that would destroy the expo. Realising his fate had been masterminded by someone truly evil, he does the only thing he can to protect his new city, which is to transfer all the Dark Energon into his stickers and toss them so that they can be destroyed before the energy explodes. With the stickers destroyed, Nemesis is found offline before coming back to life without any memory of being Nemesis, calling himself as Yokohama Convoy before Naviko is sent back to the Beast Wars era. And with the expo now saved, Yokohama has found a new protector in Yokohama Convoy. So with Yokohama Convoy added to the lineup, I believe that we have pretty much covered every town commander and convoy that is ready to defend Japan in any time of crisis and it's really cool to see a few of them debut in the comic series and I would love to see more recognition from them in other iterations. But aside from that, I just thought this was really fun to talk about because I had never heard of any of these before and well I just kind of wanted to share it with you. So with that, I will see you all later. Bye bye.